Do you know what all successful businesses have in common? All successful multi-six-figure businesses, seven-figure businesses have in common. They all have winning teams. All, each and every one of them. Because it's simply impossible to do everything by yourself. And I'm not just talking about your virtual assistant, your executive assistant, your video editor, your podcast editor, your uh, program um, consultant, coach, um, person who helps you to deliver services, your uh, person who is responsible for your house management. I'm not talking about that team, even though that team is important. All of those businesses also have a team of trusted advisors. And by the way, every big company, big, small, medium companies, like they all have a board of advisors because it is simply impossible to hire just one person to solve all of your problems because every person has unique abilities. Every mentorship program has a focus. Every coaching program has a focus. What surprises me a lot of the time when I talk to entrepreneurs and they say this, they say, I am already working with a coach. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs are missing the mark right there. Let me explain. Every coaching program, whether you realize it or not, every coaching program, any, any mastermind, any coach, any mentor that you're working with, they have their own area of expertise. They either teach you a specific skill set or they're teaching you specific methodology or like they have their own zone of genius. And coaching programs who tell you or promise you that they're going to teach you everything, they're going to teach you lead generation, they're going to help you with the messaging, they're going to uh, help you with Facebook ads or paid ads, they're going to help you with podcasting, they're going to help you uh, with everything in your business, they are not exactly truthful. Yes, they might deliver information on all of those topics, but per my experience, and I was in, um, uh, in a few coaching programs, it is not the reality because each and every uh, coaching program has a specialty. Let me give you an example from my business. My first coaching program that I enroll in was LinkedIn coaching program, specifically dedicated how to generate leads on LinkedIn. That's it, it, that is the main premise, but also what was promised, like help with sales, help with messaging, help with uh, sales calls. And they do provide information about those areas in your business, but it's not the focus. It, it, and those, uh, that information is rather not up to par. Even if you think about the most complex masterminds, the most expensive masterminds that promise you all like all of that support they have a mindset coach they have a sales coach they have all kinds of services all kinds of coaches what is missing for a lot of entrepreneurs is a detailed approach specifically to your business because they work with a large volume of clients and they're not able to serve you as an advisor, as a mentor specifically for your business, especially if you are working on your messaging, because as I mentioned in my previous podcast, that your messaging is very unique to you, to your style, to your audience, to your offer. And if your mentor is not deeply or closely familiar with, with what you do, with your audience and with what you offer, it's rather hard for them to deliver that service. So back to my coaching. Pro this episode is sponsored by my private business mentorship program, Heart and Profit Mentorship Program. Uh, to find out more, uh, go to the description or show notes for this episode, find the link to schedule a call, fill out the form and send me a DM so I can tell you more about the program or just send me a DM on LinkedIn or Instagram and let's chat. Okay, back to the show. My coaching program, back to LinkedIn coaching program. So 
I quickly realized that yes, I am making moves on LinkedIn, but I'm not able to sell, and I'm not able to sell them because of my messaging, and frankly, because of my marketing. My marketing was off. My messaging was off. What I did next, I invested like I think it was close to five thousand dollars into like for LinkedIn、uh, coaching, and then. When I realized that I need help in those areas, I hire private mentor, private consultant, private coach, whatever you want to call it,、um, and that person helped me specifically with、um, messaging and with marketing and with、uh, conversion. Right? How to create conversion events? How to create、uh, long form content? How to how to really put my messaging out there so it resonates? And the result was quick, and the result was very clear because I already had leads. I already have people who are interested. All I needed to do just pivot and twist my messaging a little bit, and also shift my marketing in a way that it speaks to people, and it produced amazing result. So what I'm saying that to say is, first of all, if you're already working with a mentor and you are not seeing the results that you want to see, uh. Go back to the drawing board and ask yourself what that coaching program promises me, because I believe that group coaching program can be very helpful. Because I ran coaching programs before, I worked with a group of people before, and it was quite successful. Yes, that coaching program can absolutely help you, but if you're not seeing、uh, the results that you're hoping to see in your business, go back and ask yourself. What is the specialty of that coaching program? What you can actually get from that coaching program? Are you getting information that is serving you, or are you getting the information that just confusing you? Because also, like if like let me let me digress here a little bit. Like if you're getting information that is confusing you in that coaching program, it's probably not the right fit. Let's be honest. It happens. And it's just a part of the business. But also, if you realize that okay, my coaching program teaches me like how to do I don't know paid ads, or my coaching program, or my mentor is teaching me how to do sales calls, or my coaching program teaches me how to do mindset and manifestation and spiritual work as an entrepreneur. Like perfect, great. Then identify what you need、uh, next. And if if nobody books a call with you. It's probably your messaging. If you're not closing people on the call, it is your consultative sales. And if you're not getting enough, like if your business is not moving fast enough, it's probably you are missing the conversion piece of your program, right? Like, how do you create those conversion events in a way? How do you launch your program? Are you launching your program in any way, shape, or form? Are you intentional about it? What What are the details of that? Because, listen, you need a team of trusted advisors, and also when you work with me, I can promise you that I'm going to handle. Everything in your business. What I am good at, what my specialty is. First of all, it is messaging and positioning. Messaging, offer positioning, finding the market fit, finding who like who will buy your offer, and how to message them so the message will click. Building your authority in that niche so you get invited to speaking engagements that you can leverage other people's stages that you can leverage conferences, podcasts, you name it. So like. That that's the first component, and then I have specific system how to develop long form content, whether it is podcasts, whether it is live streams, whether it is YouTube videos, whether it is YouTube funnel. So, and how how to posi- how to structure your long form content? Because listen, you can. Uh, post your podcast every single week, three times a week, and nothing will happen. Not because it is like you create bad content. I don't believe so. It's because your content is not intentional. It's because your podcast is not intentional, and it's because your、uh, YouTube funnel is not intentional. And I help entrepreneurs with intentional content. That aligns with like with the market fit and with the messaging, 
And then as a logical step, as a, as a last step, right? When your messaging is resonating, you have strong content, you have authority, people are gonna book calls with you. How do you close people on the call? And again, it's not just a video, like it's a skill set. And this is something that I practice like in all, all in in real life with my clients because it is essential piece of the business. That's my specialty. Like that's my like that's my package, that's my specialty. Messaging offer positioning, finding the right market fit. How to leverage your long form content so you can indoctrinate people into your philosophy, create that no like and trust factor, create community, create authority. And when when you have your offer positioned correctly, when you have your authority, people it's it's a logical step for people to book a call with you. And when people book a call with you, you're gonna sell them through consultative sales and I use the challenger sale model. That's what I promise. I can I can help you with paid ads. I can help you with um, complex email funnels. Like building email lists necessarily, it's not like this is not my be all be all um, package that I am offering you right now. Can I advise you how to create a landing page? Yes, but it will be from the messaging standpoint. And by the way, if your messaging is correct, if your messaging is hitting home, um, you can create your lead page not so perfectly and it will hit. I mean, it hit in my business. So like my first landing pages, they were hideous and people, people would sign up, you know, like I have email lists, you know, not a not not a big email list, but I do have a mail list, right? So um, I will help you from the messaging standpoint. But again, if you come to me, if you start working with me, I'm like Eugene, I want to run ants. Actually, one one of my clients said, you know, I'm I'm at this point in my business where I would like to test out ants. How do we how we're gonna do that? I said, like I don't know how we're gonna do that. You're gonna hire a consultant. Or a coach who knows how to run paid ads because I'm not the one. I'm not your guy. I'm not the one. I can help you finding the creative, like the piece of content that you can use for ad. I can help you with the messaging for the ad. I can help you, like maybe tweaking the language, like with a copy a little bit, like possibly, but I'm not a paid ad person. Or if like person comes to me and say, hey, like, you know what? I decided to do just strictly email marketing. Again, this is not my area of, of, uh, of expertise. Like, yes, I encourage my clients to build email lists and like I, I walk them through how to do that. But again, this is this this is not my area of special and this is not my unique ability. Again, I can tell you about it. I can help you to craft it and you will start building email lists, but this is not building email list program. This is not email building email list services, right? So again, like this is what I can help you with. And I submit to you that every entrepreneur, they, I would say they must have a private advisor who will advise them on, uh, on their messaging because it is important and your messaging can pivot like can shift and pivot as as you grow your business because again your avatar your messaging and your marketing and it's not something that you do just once and you forget about it because a lot of the time when I start working with clients they say I know my ideal avatar I know my ideal client I like but do you know them and if you do know them, what is stopping you from selling them? Maybe it's not the right market fit. So like this is the specialty. And to drive that point home, I would like to emphasize that you have to have a trust, uh, trusted advisor. Yes, you're working with a coach. Yes, you are in a coaching program, but it's not all be all. It is like, I think it is very naive to hope that one coaching program, one coach and one mentor can help you with your entire business. This is, and this is not my experience. This is not how business works. 
And again, successful entrepreneurs, successful businesses, they have a council, a board of tr trust advisors. The businesses that I know do really, really well, they work with designers. I'm not a designer. I'm not, I'm not a UX UI designer. They work with uh, copywriters. I'm not a copywriter. I can help you with the messaging. I can work with your copywriter, but I'm not a copywriter. Like I know how to put together a messaging. I know how to create urgency. I know I, I, I know how to hit home, but like, copywriter specific, especially for email marketing, not the one. Successful business owners have um, advisors like on their spiritual uh, well-being. And again, I'm a spiritual person. I'm a person of faith and I will pray for you. And I do have a significant component of manifestation and mindset work but i'm not just like this is not just mindset strictly coaching and i will like i will be that support for you but again my specialty messaging positioning one form content with the messaging and the positioning and like consultative sales these are three components that i can prom i can bet money on that you will get I can promise you that you will get. In fact, I can guarantee that you will get help with your messaging, with uh, loan form content, and with consultative sales. I can promise you sales. It would be not ethical for, uh, of me because, again, I can promise something that I cannot control. I can control other people how they decide. I can control you how you implement those steps. Um, but I can guarantee and promise you that I will give you the like, I will I will give you the uh, mentorship, the guidance, how like how to implement that, and not just how to implement that, but also uh, accompany you, do the work with you in your business. Yes, you are working with your coach. What what area of specialties? you are, um, or ask expertise rather, you are implementing from that coach. What area of expertise that specific coach helps you with? Ask yourself that question. And if you're not sure, go back and ask in a group, hey, I would like to be more clear what you guys are promising, um, like what I'm working with. Because I'm about to work with a private consultant, with a private mentor, and uh, I would like to align everything together. In fact, I'm not like I'm not a fan of uh, when um, I'm working with one coach and they start contradict each other. I never necessarily contradict other coaches unless it is simply not useful information and it's harmful for your business. I rather work with that program. I work like a great coach, a great coaching program. They will allow you to have your team members on the calls time to time. So everything is a lot. Your virtual assistant, your um, uh, other assistants who are responsible maybe for your uh, email marketing, maybe for other stuff. Like, um, for example, my mentor, she always has people um, like staff from other business owners, like to consult, and I think this, and I think this is a very healthy way to approach business. We're not here to fight and contradict each other. We're here to advise. We're here to help. We're here to guide. And this, like this, is what a lot of businesses need: a trusted advisor in their business. And if you're looking for a trusted advisor in your business, my invitation for you, book a consultation, call with me. The link is in the show notes. The link is for this, in the description for this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, schedule a call with me. It's a form. So it will let me know if it is a good fit for, uh, for, for if you're a good fit for this program so we can continue the conversation. And that form also will give you clarity if it is the right move if it is the right step for you to move forward and if everything aligns let's talk and let's make a decision because every single business needs a board of uh 
advisors needs a, a board of people who will support them. All right, that's all I have. Till next time.